my earliest memory of my dad was when we lived at the acreage east of Venezuela. I recall him playing soccer with my sister and I, Dina. We would, uh, he would drop kick the ball. And I remember he didn't care about the game. He was just being goofy and kicking it as high as he could. In my earliest memories of Dad, it really blurs into one, though it is all in separate pieces. I recall Dina and I jumping on the couch, yelling we wanted to get takeout while Dad and Mom sat there as we bounced up and down. I can't remember exactly what Dina and I yelled. I think it was just, let's go out or supper takeout. We yelled over and over, and Mom and Dad finally gave in and we get pizza from the restaurant called Flames in Innisfil. Dina and I didn't always get our way, though. We tried bouncing on the couch, yelling, take out, and so on and so forth. And lots of times we'd eat at home as well. I remember when my horse, Jagajet, the big brown quarter horse, got tangled in barbed wire. I would follow my dad out to Jagajet in the winter so dad could treat his wounds. He did this every day for a long time. I remember not long after mom and dad divorced. I was with dad in a field doing something with our friend Shirley Bilton's cattle. There was a big blonde bull called Hector. I was climbing into a grain truck my legs were part ways still out of the door, and this bull Hector leaned against the door, squishing my little legs right below my knees. I screamed. It was the first time my dad heard me swear. I was just a little boy. It was the worst pain I had ever had in my life. Dad hurried over and smacked Hector on the back of the on the back as hard as he could a whole bunch of times. He said something like, "Move you son of a bitch." It took a while but Hector finally shifted and my poor little legs were released. I still have the scars from that till this day. The doctor said if Dad hadn't got the bull away, I could have lost my legs. I remember another time I was riding Shadow, also called Lump, our precious prized horse that I really loved. Dad was breaking some horse for someone else at the time. And uh, we were riding in a field just north of Innisfil. At that moment, my dad was in conflict with this horse. And I was riding about 500 meters in the opposite direction. I turned my head to see how things were going for my dad. And as I turned my head, he was literally flying in the air as the horse was bucking. It was like the horse pushed the ejector seat himself to relieve my, himself of my dad. And my dad was very passionate about horses. They were everything to him. The other side of his works, of his work besides breaking horses, was being a farrier. His passion for horses was something he had no inhibitions in expressing. If someone was doing something with a horse that Dad thought was wrong or stupid, he would let them know. I recall going out to this poor man's house with my dad one time. This was a physically small guy. He was a bronc rider who was in crutches due to his due to a recent accident at a rodeo and my dad had put shoes on this horse uh, for this guy and 
the story is muddy in my mind as to what uh, this Brock Rider had done wrong, but the shoes repeatedly got pulled on the horse, so Dad had to put them back on. Now, there's ways to... There's ways you can uh, ride a horse to prevent them from pulling shoes. And this uh, poor bronc rider probably ha had no clue about what, what Dad was talking about, what he wanted. But Dad figured he, he should. And my dad screamed and yelled at this guy as he tried to get away from Dad on his crutches. My dad was following him around the truck, trying to uh, appease dad into calming down. The bronc rider was literally shaking. Uh, he was so, so scared of my dad. For me, it was quite fun to watch. Because Dad wouldn't let up. Dad became more gracious in some ways to those who disagreed uh, in the horse world. One of my proudest moments with my dad was when I was probably between 14 and 16. Dad was breaking the worst, uh, most dangerous horse I'd ever come across. This horse was... Uh, thoroughbred mixed with maybe some quarter horse. I don't know, but we'll call it scary horse. Uh, this horse was huge, very tall, blackish brown color, very powerful, very powerful, very muscular, and I was riding Shadow, otherwise known as Lump, in a Com commonplace, we rode near a buffalo jump in a very scenic area with a creek, uh, farmer's fields, forest, and rolling hills. Dad was trying to get Scary Horse to turn, and uh, Scary Ho Horse would do anything to go get away from what Dad wanted. So Dad got off, he took the rein, and ran it through the stirrup. And then Dad pulled hard to force Scary Horse's head to turn. Now Scary Horse jerked and bobbed his head up and down. I mean, this is a really powerful horse. My dad was fur furious, though. And the horse and dad were equally stubborn. Uh, probably equally a little crazy too. Causing the reins uh, to break. Releasing Scary Horse from dad. Scary, scary Horse was gone. Just took off. He just ran while dad stood in shock and anger. The horse ran into a uh, pathway through a forest. I didn't. I did not hesitate, but I took off with my horse Shadow after him. Dad yelled at me, "No, Jay, don't! No, stop!" He just screamed and screamed and screamed at me, and. I didn't listen to Dad because I knew there was no time for Dad to get on Shadow and go after Scary Horse. So I started running Shadow. Uh, you must understand Shadow was a running quarter horse, and I had raced her against many horses whose riders thought they had fast horses, and Shadow was pure muscle and power. No horse could... Um, come anywhere near beating her in a race. So Scary Horse ran through this forest on a pathway. I knew there was no point in going too fast because I couldn't uh, get around Scary Horse on this narrow path in the forest. And running hard would only cause Scary Horse to run faster. 
so I ran Shadow at a slow pace. We came out of the forest into rolling hills. Scary Horse followed a path which led to Cottonwood Road. We followed him. Scary Horse ran into the ditch along Cottonwood Road. I stayed on the road. And then Scary Horse uh, went into a crop. Uh, it was just, uh, I, I don't know much about uh, farm stuff, but I'm guessing it was wheat uh, that wasn't cut. And that is an absolute no-no to go into with your horse. I mean, that is, I mean, my dad always told me, don't even go into a, a crop that's been cut unless you go between the swaths and you're really careful because it's just disrespectful to farmers. And so this is a exception. This is an emergency because the highway is at the end of Cottonwood Road and uh, this horse is eventually going to end up there. So... Uh, Scary Horse went along this crop beside it and then went through a uh, pathway between the crops that farmers made because that was just his instinct to do that. So I knew the only way I was going to get in front of this horse and have any hope of stopping was to run Shadow straight through the crop and cut off this horse on the pathway up ahead between these crops. So, um, I jetted, uh, Shadow at her top speed, pretty much. I mean, not probably her full top speed, but pretty close. And I remember it was the most exhilarating experience because I'd never had the opportunity to run through a crop before. And there was literally, uh, pieces of grain f being ripped out, flying beside us. It was like, it was like a movie. It was so glorious. And, uh, so we're trampling through this field, grain flying. Uh, I see the horse up ahead. We're easily going to be able to cut it off. I, I get, Quite a distance from front of the horse. I try to stay calm. I have Shadow stopped. The horse just kind of slows up. I can't remember if I got off Shadow or if I just went up to the horse on Shadow and grabbed the reins. I probably just stayed on Shadow. And I got the reins. The horse just... I guess it just had given up and it just let me lead him when I was, as I was on shadow, uh, back in the direction where my dad was. And my dad had already gone on foot quite a ways. And when I got up to him, he was actually on the opposite side of Cottonwood Road in the ditch coming towards me. And you should have seen the look on his face. This is the thing that was so, uh, just, I know I see the proudest moment my dad was just, he was so shocked. He, he thought that, he thought I was probably going to be dead because this horse was so crazy. This is the situation. And he could not believe that I got this horse. 